السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان بے ہاف و مرکز صحابہ دا وائس آف اہلو سن و جماعہ وی پرزینٹ یو لیسن نمبر ٹو نائن ٹو فور آف اوور ڈیلی نصیحہ این ایڈوائس ٹو ڈے ود گریس این مرسی آف آل میٹ اللہ جل ولا وی فوکس آن دا نائنت آف جمعہ دل اولا Jabir bin Abdullah radiallahu anhuma whose profile we mentioned few days ago so father and son both sahaba yaqul he states Jabir says inna rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam amara mustafa habibuna sallallahu alaihi wasallam commanded bi qatla uhudin that the disease of uhud so all this happened then in uhud in the third year of the hijra where the enemies wanted revenge for what happened one year ago in badr badr was 17th ramadan and that was in the second year of the hijra so now this is shawwal the third year of the hijra so this one to 12 13 months after that biqatla uhudin so now sahaba saw that their people are passing away so they started carrying them moving towards madina mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam saw this and said no amara biqatla uhudin ay yuraddu that they must be returned ila masari'ihim the places where they were martyred so there you see in gaza they building big big trenches and there the body they are deceased no gusal no janaza nothing and that is the verdict of majority scholars gusal everybody agrees hanafi shafi maliki zambali is no gusal and salatul janaza Naza, Shafi, Malik, Zambali say no. They already parked up. They already forgiven by all mighty Allah. And there's no need for Janaza Salat. Only Hanafi say Sadhul Janat. Academic discussion. So they were brought back to the Masarim, the places where they were martyred and they were killed and killed. So no martyred and became shuhada. Wakanu nukilu ila al-Madina. Whilst they were being transferred to Madina, Munawara, meaning that people thought maybe they must take them. That's why towards Baqi, then Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said no, bring them back so therefore when we go there now we see the maqabir and the qabars and the qubur of the shuhada they in Uhud and we belong to the Ahlu Sunnah wal Jama'ah so always remember there were many many martyrs in Islam Sayyidina Umar is a martyr, Sayyidina Usman is a martyr, Sayyidina Ali is a martyr Sayyidina Hussein radiallahu anhu is a martyr, like that so many martyrs they are, radiallahu anhu but the greatest martyr for all time all places is Sayyidina Hamza radiallahu anh. so always teach your children teach your students that Sayyidu Shuhada is one and that is Sayyidina Hamza radiallahu anh. the Chacha the Kaka the uncle paternal uncle Pasabur of Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wasallam and that's why we need to make Tashihul Aqidah and Tashihul Aqaid to rectify our belief structures somebody asks you where is the evidence for that you must say in Mustadrak Hakim the hadith is mentioned there Sahih hadith that he is Sayyidu Shuhada Ameen Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh